Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red. This Tuesday morning, this rather nice January, and it's still Tuesday morning. Praise the Lord. So Matthew chapter 24 and the last verse in Matthew 24, we read in 51. And he will cut him in two and assign him a place with the hypocrites, in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So he will cut him in two. He will be assigned to the place with the hypocrites. In that place there will be gnashing of teeth. And what you get in Jesus' insight into these three insight revelations of what it's going to be like in the judgment is a place that you wouldn't want to be, a place that you wouldn't want to go. You know, the the fact that Jesus mentions hypocrites in this verse is an indication of his disdain to hypocrisy. If you look at the way Jesus conducts himself on earth when he goes about doing what he does, you see Jesus often getting so frustrated with those who claimed to be good and walking before God, but secretly they were not. Jesus was frustrated with hypocrisy. And I guess the reason for that is because hypocrisy is such a deception you know, to present yourself as this person when you're really this person is a, a very, very bad thing to do. We need to learn to be who we are. Now, when a person is really not very good, but presents themselves as good, we can often see signs that indicate who they really are. It's the way they talk and the way they look and their eyes, the way they are and what comes out of their mouths. Hypocrisy, it offends God. And we need to be those who avoid it because we don't want to be assigned in the place of hypocrites. We want to be in a place where we are true to ourselves and true before God. You know, there is a judgment and this whole chapter and the one before and the one coming is all about what judgment is going to be like. And it was Jesus who brought the great revelation of what the eternal judgment was going to be like. It's as if God only trusted Jesus to bring this depth of insight in regards to life after death in the judgment, as well as life after death in heaven. And he shows us how to get into heaven by surrendering to him and his ways, by trusting in the blood of Jesus to cleanse us from our sins. But he also wants us not to live inappropriate lives even when we become Christians, but to walk in an integrity that represents who you really are and who he really is, because he's looking for you to represent him each day of your life. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.